welcome to this video. It's Dewey. Today we have a very exciting video. I am starting my Dokyum collection. Woo! Um, DK from Seventeen. For those who don't know, um, yes, I do stand Seventeen, and I collect like two or three OT Thirteen sets. But I decided I finally wanted to start collecting one of the members. I never thought I'd do it, but I decided I wanted all of Dokyum's. Um, Korean album photo cards. So that is what we're gonna do today. Um, this is actually my binder for all of my cards, um, all of my ATs, ITZY, and 17 cards, but it's getting a little bit too thick. So I will be transferring all of my 17 and Dokum cards into an A5 binder. Woo! I got this binder from Durunaru. Um, I will put the link in the bio for this Etsy shop. They're super cute and they have a ton of fun stationery, so highly suggest, super cute. But yeah, um, to get started with that, we will be putting in these white sleeves for all of the cards that I need that I just made. Um, the way I do my sleeves is I actually um, put the names of the cards I'm looking for on pieces of washi tape and then put it to the car um, put it to the white sleeve. So that is what I'm going to be making and so you'll see a time lapse of that in the next clip. So yeah, let's get started. Ooh. ready along with some blank ones for empty spots and we will now put them in the binder. I am really excited honestly um, to do this. I have wanted to have an A5 binder for some of my cards for so long and I just thought my DK collection would be such a cute fit and I was really having a really hard time deciding how I wanted to put it in just like a regular nine pocket binder and I decided that I enjoyed how it would be in a A5 binder better. So I'm really excited to put these in. Um, for Boys B and Love and Letter Repackage, I'm going to put them both in the same page. I was considering doing like a crisscross instead of like doing just like across and across, but I think I decided in the end that the across across does look nicer. Um, we will see though when the cards get here. I do have both the Boys B cards um, on the way or they're sitting in a warehouse um, but um, I do not have the love and letter repackage photo cards yet so I'm hoping to get those soon these are probably my biggest priority um, just because I'm trying to get DK's like oldest cards first since they're the hardest to find um, since there's you know less people with the albums and they don't you know there's less of the albums generally but yeah just trying to get those first. I don't think I have any going 17 um, cards on the way. Um, I think I might have almost gotten one of the unit cards, but then it slipped out of my fingers, unfortunately. Uh, four going 17, because there's five photo cards, which is a little weird. <laughs> um, I am going to just put these selfies on their own page, like so. Um, or sorry, because because there's five photo cards, I... I'm going to put his three selfie cards on one page and then a filler here. And then I'm going to put the both the um, unit cards on this page. I think I do want to do a crisscross for these cards with Joshua at the top because he's older. And then Uzi right here, so in a diagonal pattern. Um, also, for any of the fillers that I have here, like these blank ones, I am eventually going to find some nice fillers, like some 17 themed fillers or something of that sort to put there instead, just so it looks really nice. Um, this um, collection, I honestly never really thought I would get into collecting 17, but I did it, <laughs> especially like one member because they've been a group for over six years now, so I was really worried about having to catch up on everything, but I eventually found a balance in what I wanted to do and was like, okay, I can 
collect his photo cards and not worry about any of his other inclusions. And I also will just collect his photo cards and won't focus on collecting the 17 albums themselves because that is a little bit expensive and just um, stresses me out more than I would like. So I'd rather have fun and just collect his photo cards. So that is what we're doing. And I am so, so, so excited. And I just, I love his cards, his album cards so much. So I'm so excited to get them. I do also have all three of the all one cards on the way, which I'm really excited about. I did like, I really do like the older like Polaroid kind of photo cards I did in the past. I think they're really cute. Um, his all one set is very cute as well. So I'm excited to get that. But yeah, that is the all one page. Next we have the teenage page, which fits perfectly, <laughs> which is great. Um, teenage is probably one of my favorite releases they've ever done, including with the title track, like Clap is just, I feel like Clap sums up Seventeen as a group really well. Just like really refreshing, but at the same time like super fun and also like still has like just amazing performance and just super colorful and it's just great. I loved the concept and I thought they pulled it off perfectly. <laughs> But yeah, this is Teenage. I am, I think out of all of the photo cards that I have to get, I am the most worried about the Teenage cards just because I heard they're quite expensive and difficult to find, but hopefully I will be able to find them eventually. And for not too expensive, I'm hoping as well. For a director's cut, um, I do have Two cards on the way. I have the I have both of the like the selfie cards on the way. So the plot and the sunset card. I have yet to get the movie cut card and the lenticular. Um, but honestly, um, I'm not too worried about them. I was more worried about the photo cards than the lenti and the movie um, photo card thing. So I'm not too worried about it. I honestly also don't know if either of these things will fit in a. Um, like a photo card pocket. I've never seen them, to be honest. So um, if not, then this is fine. I'll just leave this here for now just to make it look nice, but you will see when we get them or let me know how big they are in the comments. I don't know. <laughs> um, for You Made My Day, You Made My Day has six photo cards and so does You Made My Dawn. So I'm what I'm going to do for this one is instead of doing three and three because they are in sets based on the different um, each different version of the album i'm going to do two two and two so we're going to have the meat version at the top and then the follow version down here and then lastly on the next page the set the sun version i really loved you made my day um as you can tell by my <laughs> intro, I really like cloud and sky type concepts that use a lot of like sunset colors and stuff like that. And Oh My just did that so perfectly. And that is is why I put it in my intro. Just love those cloudy concepts and I thought they pulled it off so well. And Oh My is just such a fun and refreshing song. And I'm so glad that I'm just, I just love those kinds of concepts, especially during the summer. And I feel like, I don't know, I feel like I have, we haven't been getting much of those lately, these past times. I, well, I guess Twice as Alcohol Fear is actually really fun, um, and like Brave Girl Roland, but that's also like a five-year-old song. <laughs> so yeah, I will be doing the same thing for, um, for You Made My Dawn. <laughs> Now we move into An Ode, which is probably my favorite album. Granted, they have what, three albums? Three albums. Um, this is probably my favorite. Love the B-sides on this one. Um, and just Fear is just so, so good. Just so incredible. <laughs> so amazing. I And Hit with their pre-release, it was just such a good year for Seventeen. I think in terms of the B-sides, I mean, K-1 
can't really go wrong with Snapshoot, right? It's just so cute. <laughs> Snapshoot was amazing, and Campfire, and Pin, or oh, no, Pinwheel's not on that album. Um, Lucky, I really liked Lucky. I believe there was, um, oh, there's a song. It's like the one with Lie in it. I can't remember the name now. Oh my gosh, I'll I'll put it up there. But I I really like that song as well. Just really love this album. Such a good album. I just I can't get over it. <laughs> and if they continue their pattern um, that they've been doing the past, I mean their entire you know their entire career, then they should be coming out with a full album this year, which would be super exciting. Um, I did miss their, I didn't fully stand them at the time that they came around my city for their An Ode world tour, and I'm really, really hoping that they do come and tour next year because I would love to see them because next year is their seventh year and I would love to see them before some of them have to go to the military. So really hoping th that everything clears up and I'm able to go to one of their concerts because that would be amazing. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm, su I'm super looking forward to their next comeback. Um, loved Ready to Love. <laughs> um, love this album as well. I just, another like kind of sentimental but refreshing comeback. I think those are, that's my probably my favorite kind of um, concepts from them are those like ref more refreshing refreshing like bright concepts however like i am literally in love with like getting closer and fear as well so i guess i can't say much <laughs> oh and cards that i already have i am not putting a um thing in for because we're gonna put those in soon but yeah i let's see What's after truth? We've got the real version next. As you can see, I don't really have many DK cards yet. I actually have a lot of, a lot, quite a few on the way, um, either in goes or just on the way or in a warehouse right now. So we will be having a big update haul, I assume, in around probably around a month, I'd say. But before that, look forward to it. I'm excited. We'll have more stuff to put in my. OT13 A5 mini binder. I did decide that I want to split them up into two different A5 binders because I think my OT13 binder will expand in the next few months and I also think the DK collection is just, I think it would just be too thick in this one. I want to make sure that all the weight is evenly distributed and balanced out. So we are going to be separating them, which will also be in this video, which is going to be fun. Or it won't be. I don't know. <laughs> it depends on how long this video is. Um, but yeah, moving on to Hengere, which I know I said that You Made My Dawn might be my favorite mini album, but I think I might have lied because Hengare is, the amount of times I've cried listening to this album is a little embarrassing, honestly. Um, it's just so... I don't know, it's just so sentimental, but at the same time so fun. Like, left and right was such a good vibe, and it was the first comeback where I was, like, officially standing them. So I was just having such a good time that summer. And uh, I guess maybe this is my favorite, and it has my favorite 17 song of all time, which is Kidult. Kidult is by far my favorite 17 song of all time. Um, with a close, I guess kind of close second would be Good To Me. Um, which is in the <laughs> You Made My Dawn album, so I guess that would make the most sense. But yeah, just we'll never ever get over this album. And I love to get together and fearless. I was obsessed with fearless when it first came out. Just the ent the entire like kind of continuation of an ode and the way they did that was just so fantastic. It was a little fishy, honestly. Like. The photo cards are so beautiful, and I kind of want to collect one of the sets, but I think right now I'm just going to focus on... Oh, put this in the wrong spot. For now, I'm just going to focus on the sets that I'm working on, which are 
all 52 cards from T13 flower cards, so the one side version of your choice. Those are the things I'm gonna be working on right now. And then in the future, maybe I'll add in a Hengere set, but we will see. And now she fits. <laughs> all right. And then here we will put these two will be the semicolon photo cards, or I'll put them diagonal. So I'll just put two fillers in here where those can go. I considered keeping his the cards that I'm collecting for OT13 in the OT13 binder, but I decided that I wanted to have like his entire collection in this one. So that is what we will be doing. So this is for semicolon. And then lastly, we have your choice, which I already have his flower card, which I, we will be putting in. And then we have the, uh, which one goes first? The other side version goes first before the side. So that will go right here. Around. That is fine. That's why we have a paper cutter. <laughs> and lastly, but yeah, might have to redo that one, but I'll just leave it for now. And then we'll put one last, um, one last filler in and yeah and so we can put those in and that is going to be my collection for now i'm so excited to collect it let me grab the photo cards i have currently and we will put those in and be done Woo! okay so as you can see i am a very baby collector i only have four cards but that is okay we all start somewhere and I am just so excited to collect him. So let's put this in a uh, hope card in, which these beret cards are probably basically my favorite cards of him of all time. Just so cute, just the best cards ever. I, I think I'm gonna do a crisscross for these. So I'm gonna do like beret, beret, and then nombre, nombre. And I'll do that for the same for the rest of an ode, but I haven't quite decided yet because I guess I will see how it is in my OT13 collect collection and then copy that. But yeah, that is the first card. And then we have the semicolon cards, which will go right here. Put those in this one. So we put this one in at the top. Right there. Perfect. And then in here i will be getting some i think some pretty like star sleeve like penny sleeves to put his cards in i haven't quite decided which ones i want to do for him yet because i think i'm going to do a certain one for my itsy collection but that will probably be in a different video for now i just wanted to get this collection set up lastly we have his your choice card his one side card which also one of my favorite cards of him of all time and i'm so happy i pulled it this was really a sign for me to collect him <laughs> at least that's how i took it but yeah that is his this is my collection so far so once again super small have barely anything but that will just make the next haul much more exciting <laughs> yeah that is all for this video i hope you enjoyed um, in the future, maybe I'll set up more A5 binders from my other collections or do like a re-sleeving kind of deal, but we will see. See you guys in the next video. Bye!